Hare Krishna. On behalf of uh, Mother Jainty and all of the students and teachers at TKG Academy, I would like to thank and welcome all of the parents that have come here today and His Holiness Ritadvaja Swami and Nityananda Prabhu, Rupanuga Prabhu, Narantam Prabhu, Mother Kumkumangi, Mother Manjuali, Mother Chandravali, all of you, we would like to thank you for joining us. The children have been working for two weeks on this Govardhan Puja project and they would like to present to you the pastimes of the Supreme Personality of God that they've learned, um, different pastime places and the meanings and stories behind these pastime places. And the younger children want to present to you the Govardhan Puja song. So we'll start off with the younger children's presentation and then we'll go into the older children's presentation. And then we ask if Maharaj can speak a couple of words. So one day Krishna saw his father Nanda Maharaj preparing for a fire sacrifice. So Krishna asked Nanda Maharaj, My dear father, why did this plan for a sacrifice? Please explain it to me. Is it a way to conjunction? Papa was hell money. My We have to thank Lord Indra for kindly sending rain. Fun! <laughs> don't play. Here, just sit. Don't give it to one person. Just put it right here. I'll remember producing rains. But my dear father, let's not worship Indra. We have our duties to perform. Rain is falling from the mode of fashion, not by worshiping him. Okay, a big round of applause, please. And then Lord Indra saw that the residents of Vrindavan stopped his worship and he became very angry. Let's have our angry faces. Now I'm going to put the microphone right in front of you, but if we lean forward, the microphone will have to get taken away. Some
So the residents of Vrindavan were so distressed by all of this rain falling down and flooding their homes. Let's get our distressed and scared faces on. <laughs> Indra sending rain like sharp piercing arrows. See it falling down as thick as hell with thunder. And when the residents of Vrindavan heard Krishna call, when they called out to Krishna like that, what did Krishna do? What did Krishna do? He lifted Govardhan Hill. Yes, so let's sing the song. Dear inhabitants of Vrindavan, now I lifted Govardhan Hill. It shall protect you like a big umbrella. Think it will fall. Don't be afraid and think it will fall. Be happy together. Be happy together. We're not hungry. We're not thirsty. We don't eat and want to sleep. We don't want to sleep. Govardhan Maharaj Ki Jai. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you very much. In Vrindavan Dham, there is the actual replica of Govardhan Hill there present. And generally, devotees start their parikrama with Kusum Sarovra. There are about, we have broken up the areas into 10, 9 or 10 locations on Govardhan that the children have been studying. So we will start our parikrama today with Kusum Sarovara and I request Madan Gopal to please come up and describe to us the different areas surrounding Kusum Sarovara, what he has made and what he has studied. Okay. Um, so first I made Kusum Sarovara and it's right here and the story behind it is uh, Radharani and the tree branch. So. One day early in the morning, Radha and her gopis went out and they went to start picking flowers. And Radha Rani saw this beautiful tree filled with uh, exquisite flowers. And Krishna, knowing that Radha was picking the flowers, uh, secretly climbed up the tree. And while Radha Rani was picking the flowers, he pushed on the branch and letting go, making Radha and the tree branch fling up. Radha slipping off, screaming for help. She was calling and Krishna secretly jumped down and caught Radha in, her, in his arms. And then Radharani uh, and the other gopis, Radha, the gopis started to laugh and, at what they just saw. And Radharani started, got angry at Krishna and started to yell at him. After being satisfied by yelling at Krishna, Radha continued to go and pick flowers and uh, Krishna went and uh, played with the other coward boys. And then uh, there's Uddhava Temple, and uh, the story of the Uddhava Temple is when uh, Uddhava, he was sent by Krishna to go and um, uh, comfort the family 
of Krishna and Vrindavan from all the separation from him. And so when he, after he helped them and all, he was getting ready to leave. And when he was um, leaving, he prayed that he would become the grass, the herbs, and the bushes of Vrindavan. And because the gopis, they trample the grass with their feet and kick the dust from their feet onto the grass, he was blessed to be the herbs and the uh, grass and everything of Vrindavan. And he still stays there as a form till this day. And then there's Nardakund. And the pastime um, I was going to tell is uh, when Narda was... Um, when, wait. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh yeah, he wanted to witness the pastimes of uh, Lord Krishna, and so he did Saphir austerities, and so he was blessed by Vrinda Devi. So when he took a for when he took a bath in Kusum Sarovar, he would become a female woman, and thus you'd be able to witness the pastimes of the Lord, and that's it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Madam. And if you come, you can see the different areas that he built. He used the picture of Uddhava Temple and made it look very similar as, fel as, as well as the Kundas and of course this beautiful, magnificent Kusum Sarovara. So thank you very much, Madam Gopal. The next place on Govardhan is called the Sham Kutir area. So we ask Raja Kishore to please come up and discuss the story of Sham Kutir. Krishna's footprint is located right next to Ratna Singhasam, which is next to, um, yeah, so Kusum Sarovar. The story behind Ratna Singhasam is one day uh, Krishna and Balaram were with the gopis and Srimati Radharani. Uh, the, a demon called Sankashura came and kidnapped Srimati Radharani. Um, Krishna saw them and chased them. Being afraid, Sankashura put down Srimati Radharani and ran for his life. Krishna and Balaram chased him and killed him. And what is Ratna Singhasan? It's a throne, a thousand petal, flower petal throne, covered in jewels. Okay, thank you very much. And what is the story of how Krishna's footprint got there? Uh, one day, Krishna was playing his flute, and he stepped on a rock. The rock, being so much in ecstasy, melted, uh, and Krishna's footprint was left in the rock. And there was also a cow next to him, so one of the cow's hoofs were in the rock. Okay, thank you very much, Frederick Kishore. <laughs> then as you continue along, you see the area of Gwalapokara, which our student Zion made, and that is where Krishna performed his lunch pastimes with the cowherd boys. And then we come continuing along to Manasi Ganga here, and... Sanatan Goswami's Bhajan Kutir, we request Giriraj to please come up and speak on the stories behind that. The Manashi Ganga. <laughs> the Manashi Ganga was created so Krishna wouldn't have to go all the way to the Ganges to bathe for killing a cow, uh, a demon disguised as a cow. Mm -hmm. The gopis considered that sinful, so they wanted him to become purified. So, and he made it with his mind, so that's what, that's what Manasi means, and Ganga means lake. And the story about, so not, um, the story about it is the boatman story, and Krishna was um, dressed up as a boatman, and he convinced the gopis that he'd take them across the lake to... To bring them, yeah, just to bring them across the lake for the milk product, for some of their milk products. And he brought them, and then he said he was hungry, so they had to feed him. 
And once they got halfway into the lake, he said he was getting tired. He wanted to go to sleep. They threatened to throw him off the boat. He went a little bit farther, and then he said that the boat was sinking, so you had to throw off all of your jewelry and milk products. And then he started shaking the boat, and Radharani fell on him. And as soon as she did that, she realized it was Krishna, and she pulled out his flute and showed it to all the gopis, and then they all knew it was Krishna. And the story about Sanatan Goswami, um, Bhajan Kutir, he wanted to live near the Govardhan Hill so he could do Govardhan Parakram every day. And he also had a story because he wanted to leave because there's too many mosquitoes. And Shiva came down as disguised as a Brahmin and said those mosquitoes would stop coming. And to this very day, there's not that many mosquitoes there. Thank you very much, Giraj. And then we have Don Gatti Mandir and Donna Nivartan Kunda, built by Sagirda. Sagirda, please come up. And she can tell us the story behind that. The children have also made these posters, so when we're circumambulating, you can take a look at the posters they've made with all the information. Um, uh, Don Gatti Kunda right here, um, the story behind it was that the gopis were passing through with their milk, butter, and ghee, and cheese, and, um, Krishna ca came and stopped him, K Krishna and his friends came and stopped him, and claimed they were tax collectors, and, um, they said, they commanded them to give their taxes, to pay their taxes by giving them milk, butter, and ghee. And they uh, told them that if they didn't, the king would be very mad. So uh, so the gopis tried to get past by not paying their taxes, but eventually they were forced to. And the story behind Radharati's, well, um, Radharati's, Okay, Radharati's footprint right here was, um, well, pilgrims come and walk by it three times to get Radharani's, um, blessings. And, thank you very much, Sagarda. And now we're nearing the end of Govardhan on this side, and we have Krishna Chakra, who has done Govinda Kund area, and he will describe that. Um, Govinda Kund was made when uh, Indra bathed Krishna with Ganges water, milk from a sarabi cow, tulsi manjaris, and lotus flowers. And uh, then Sarabi Kun, that is where uh, Sarabi begged Krishna to forgive Indra for sending the Samvartika clouds. And uh, yeah, and then there's the Radha Govinda temple. Wait. And uh, the deity is about a meter tall and he's playing a flute, and it's said that uh, Krishna's great-grandson first installed the deity. Thank you very much, Krishna Chakra. And now we have Indulekha. We'll describe Apsara Kund and Neval Kund. I've done... Uh, <coughs> I've done Upsara and Novel Kun. Um, the story behind Novel Kun, it was called, it was called Panchari Kun. And um, Radha and Krishna were doing the Rasa dance and they were so absorbed and excited about doing the Rasa dance that they melted into Panchari Kund 
And after that, it was called Navalkund and Absarkund. Um, Krishna wanted to be bathed um, by um, many of the Kundas. So he sent seven of the main Apsaras from the, from the heavenly planets to come down and make a lake so, and bathe him. And um, the end of Govardhan Hill is, the t is supposed to be called the tail of the peacock. And that's why it's all green. <laughs> Thank you very much, Induleka. And now we have the very end over here of Govardhan. And we'll ask Ram to come up and explain the stories behind the temples here. This is the Dokadauji Temple, and the story behind it is when the Rasalila dance was going on, Balaram was watching Krishna, and he became so absorbed that he crouched down to get closer. He turned black like Krishna, and there's a temple there to dedicate to that. And a few, and a little away from the temple, there's where his crown fell. Then, the, the Nishringadev Temple, inside is a black s statue of Nishringadev, with Hiranyakashipu on his lap being ripped open, and that's covered. And this is the Laotha Baba. Laotha was one of Krishna's friends, and when Krishna was leaving to Matura, he was he said that he would wait there for him. But and he asked when Krishna would return. Krishna said the day after tomorrow. But Krishna never returned. He's been waiting there ever since. Thank you very much, Ram. And so now we make our way all the way around, and here we have the Shivakari Temple, Shiva Temple and Shivakari Kunda. Raja, if you can please describe that. It's on the western side of Radha Kund. Shivakari Kund is a, a kund where Lord Shiva stays to protect the western side of Radhakund and the story behind it and the story behind it is when a jackal came and started drinking water some children came up and started beating the jackal uh, Srimati Radharani was passing by and said no one should be suffering in this place so she called the gopis to bring the jackal to her, and she blessed the jackal to attain her eternal service. Oh yeah, and Shiva with long eye means jackal. Thank you, Raja Kishore. And last, but not at all least, we have the holy dham of Radha Kund and Sham Kund. As we know from the scriptures, this is the most important area in the entire universe and in the entire material creation. So we ask Selena to please... Oh, Nishringa! I'm so sorry. Nishringa, come here, please. I totally skipped right here. Gopal Temple and Aniyor Temple by Nishringa. He's actually written a really nice story on it. Either he can read the story or he can describe the temple. What would you like to do? Um, I wrote the story of how... Um Madhavendra Puri found the Gopal Didi with, like, my point of view if I was one of the villagers that he invited. Anyway, I just finished making lunch for my wife and children when I heard my door being knocked on. I was unsure who it was, for I wasn't expecting any guests. I opened the door to see a tall, elderly man with orange clothing with little hair. Come, please, he panted. I know where Gopal is. What? I asked. The Didi of Gopal, he replied. You must help me bring him. Usually I would ask more questions, but something was making me believe him. I brought a shovel, as he asked me to, and as soon as we got there, he told us, to di he told us the spot to dig. The digging was quite short because of the, num the large number of helpers. By the end of the digging, I was staring at a large, blackish-bluish deity with orange garments, flower garlands, and a, go and a golden flute. My heart was beating really fast. I wasn't afraid, but I felt intimidated. I also kept the shovels away and tried to be as gentle as possible, for I felt as if he was alive. 
After we found Gopal, the arm wrestling champions and the wrestling champions, including me, decided that we would carry him since he was extremely heavy. Eventually, we were able to bring him to a good area with stone platform. We worshipped him, and so did the other villagers. The name of the elderly man was Madhavanjapuri, and this is the story of how, we, of how he found the deity of Gopal. Thank you very much, Dushinder. And now we will talk about Radha Kun and Sham Kun. Please, I request Selena to come up. Uh, I built Raghunath Das Goswami's Samadhi. Um, the story behind that is one day Raghunath Das was so really absorbed in his chanting, but he didn't notice two tigers had come up to drink water beside him, and Krishna came to protect him. But Sunatan Goswami came to talk to uh, Raghunath Das, but he saw Krishna. Krishna saw Sanatan Goswami. He smiled at him and he disappeared. And Sanatan Goswami then went to Raghunath Das and chastised him, saying that the bhajans he was doing were so dangerous that Krishna had to come and protect him. So they built a samadhi for him. Uh, another story is Raghunath Das was chanting again, but it was so hot, he was sweating and his clothes were soaked in sweat. Radharani came and put, his, put her veil over his head, but she too began to sweat and got soaked. And Sanatana Goswami again saw Radharani standing by Raghunathas and became very angry. And Radharani looked at Sanatana Goswami and smiled and disappeared. And, um, oh, Sanatana Goswami talked to Raghunathas and chastised him for taking the service of Radharani. And, and he said, please build Bhajan Katir. And so he did. Um, I built Radhakund and Shamakund. There, right here. Um, Radhakund and Shamakund are together. They're a very peaceful and tranquil place. It's extremely peaceful over there. And it's said that even if you think of something offensive about Radhakun and Shamkun, Krishna will get very angry. So, um, uh, Shamkun and Radhakun were actually uh, hidden for quite a while until Lord Chaitanya came and discovered them again, and he bathed in both of them. Thank you very much, Selena. So I request all of the students, the younger students and the older students to come up here for a couple of minutes. Come up here. We're going to recite our verse. Namaste Giri Rajaya. Namaste Giri Rajaya. Shri Govardhana Namine. Ashesha Klesha Nashaya. Paramananda Daine. Govardhan Giriraj Maharaj Ki. And I had a request from one of the younger kids that I didn't introduce them. So I'm going to quickly introduce the younger kids. We have Gandiva, Ava. You guys can take a step and bow when I call your name. Zara. And Arjuna. Bala. Padayatra, Nitai Pran, Lara, Mia, and little Jamuna over there. Giddy Govardhan Ki. Govardhan Puja Ki. You guys did a really great job on making the nice hill and all the different coons and temples and everything. And even though you're young, you, don't, you may not have been to Vrindavan yet. You're very lucky that you get to think about it when you made those things. Because just thinking about Govardhan makes Krishna happy. And all the different kuns and everything like that. That's one of the things devotees do when they grow up. They go to Govardhan Hill and they go to all those places you guys just uh, made. And they pray to Krishna there for devotion and for service and to please Krishna. 
and to always remember those places. So you guys can always take a little bit of time, some time to remember those places you built. Then that will purify your hearts. It will, Krishna will become happy inside your heart and make you happy in your heart just by remembering Govardhan Puja and remembering all the nice places that you uh, built. And you can also get photos of those places because there's lots of nice books that have photos of those. I'm sure you've seen those, right? Some of them. You could get those photos and put them on your altars at home so that way you can always remember those places that you built. And you can remember those stories and you can tell that story to somebody else about the nice place that you built on the hill. Now you'll be talking about Krishna in a nice way. <laughs> Hari Wo. Hare Krishna, Hare Ram. I'm also um, amazed your artistic, uh, creative uh, juices there. I can never do anything like that. So I, I can understand also that you, because you have these wonderful stories in your mind that which will stay in your, your heart forever, that means that you're going back to the spiritual world. So I'm, I'm very happy to be associated with such demigods and de demigods like you, that you are, even though you, you seem to be unaware, your heart is full of Krishna's pastimes. And many people, they live all their life and not knowing the pastimes of Krishna. And you, from a young age, you're remembering the stories of Krishna. So you're not, you're not ordinary people. Ordinary, you can't even use the word ordinary because you're special devotees. And I'm, I'm very happy to associate with all of you. And thank you for, for dedicating your life to remembering Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Ram. Hare Krishna. Well, it had been a long time since I did Govardhan Puja, or Govardhan Parikram. And when the last time I did Govardhan Parikram was me and B.B. Govindamara. Does anybody know B.B. Govindamara? Yeah, me and B.B. Govindamara, we did a Govardhan Parikram race car style. <laughs> but we did stop at all the places and uh, did offer our obeisances and ask for the blessings of the Dham and blessings from the, all the devotees that have served the Dham there. And just seeing this hill, I was thinking that this year I was going to go to Govardhan. And it didn't turn out that I could go. So I was thinking I wouldn't be able to visit Govardhan this year. And then all of a sudden I get a call and I'm at Govardhan. <laughs> It's non different than Govardhan. The feeling is the same. I'm feeling the same as if I went there. I, it's an incredible feeling, and that is due to the hard work of all the students here and the teachers to get an opportunity to visit the Dham and to visit the holy place of, of Krishna. And I wonder how many people it took to lift this Govardhan hill. <laughs> Because Krishna lifted it by himself with his little finger. I think it took more than that to lift this shell. I think it took several men, maybe. Maybe some of the big men here, they did that. Nobody's tried it. You built it here. Oh, you built it here. Oh, okay. You built it this morning. Oh, very good. That was very quickly constructed. Very nice job in just a short period of time, and it almost ended up being Indra Puja today because the last couple of days we would have been in under, under the Govardhan Hill taking shelter. We would have all crammed underneath the 
the, uh, the hill, taking shelter. But Krishna gave us a wonderful, beautiful day, but we better watch out. We don't know. If we start worshiping Govardhan Hill, Indra may become upset and we may see some Samvataka clouds come along here. Would that be pretty amazing if we saw some big clouds coming and all Dallas is flooded and nobody knows why but us? We would be the only ones that knew. The weatherman is never right. That's a good job to get in case you ever want to get a job. Get a job as a weatherman because if you're wrong, you don't get fired. Anyway, I thank all these teachers for this effort. This is going to, like Urjaswat Prabhu said, this is going to be impressed upon, what do you call it, impressed upon their hearts. It's just like whenever, when the students do their theater performances and they do these activities like this, then they, these activities get impressed upon their heart and they never forget. Even my boys at 25 years old sing sweet rice, rasgul, chocolate pineapples. I don't even remember the song. I, I don't remember. They remember the song. They sing it all along whenever it gets time for Govardhan Puja. They always sing the song. And um, it is, uh, it's, a, it's an opportunity that you, have, that you have here. Very, very wonderful. So thank you very much to all the teachers and to all the students. Hare Krishna. Jai Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Hare Krishna. So, if Srila Prabhupada was here, I think he'd be so proud to see all of you. Uh, he'd be beaming with pride that this is the uh, future of ISKCON. This is the future of the Hare Krishna movement. And uh, what you have done here is so wonderful, it's so excellent. Now, like um, Maharaj and or just with Prabhu and uh, uh, Chaitanya Chandra Prabhu have said, you've made this impression in your heart. Krishna says that the person who is most beloved to him is, uh, is he or she who preaches Krishna consciousness to the devotees. So actually, uh, you know, some of us have gone to Govardhan and Govardhan Parikrama and visited these places and heard the stories. And by your doing it today, we were reminded uh, of that event, of those events. Uh, Again, it replayed in our minds. So actually you preached, uh, definitely you preached to me, preached to us uh, about Krishna consciousness in such a nice way. This is the most, the sweetest way anybody can preach Krishna consciousness to talk about the beautiful uh, pastimes, the beautiful devotees of Krishna, Krishna himself and uh, his places of pilgrimage uh, and uh, about the holy name, uh, the reminder of Shyamkund and Radhakund, the sweetness of Shyamkund and Radhakund and all of the associates who are actually around them uh, uh, in the Govardhan area. So, thank you very much. You've become preachers now. You're now certified preachers. So, uh, and Prabhupada wanted all, us all to be always preaching and reaching out to people and reminding them about Krishna. He, he always would tell us, the only two things that are important is that you always remember Krishna and you never forget Krishna. So by this event today, you have done that so wonderfully. So congratulations to you and the very best to you. Our community is so proud of you. Our community is such a nice community because of you. Uh, continue the good work. Become great, great devotees uh, and preach to so many people that Srila Prabhupada would say that these are my best devotees. Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. And now we can circumambulate Govardhan Hill with a rip-roaring kirtan. Would Urjishwat Prabhu or Chaitanya Chandra Prabhu like to lead the kirtan? Chaitanya Chandra Prabhu? And then we'll end with prasadam. That, oh, the, um, the teachers and the parents have made the prasadam according to the song, Rice Doll, Halava, Puris, Bakoras. So that will be the prasadam after we circumambulate the uh, You do the whole song. Do the whole song. Do the whole song, guys. You want to sing the song? Rice Doll. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutaya
Bhutale Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Rama, Rama. 